Hey guys and girls, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Lumber Tycoon 2. As the title says, I'm going to try and make a floor out of lumpkins. Obviously, in the box. So basically, all you got to do is stack them in nice and tight. And they will start to look like a floor. I'm just doing this up here for now. But you can recess the, the the wood the the floors that I'm putting them on. You could recess them down so they will be flush with the rest of the building, rest of the structure. And you could have what looks like oops, I should probably put this one over here. You could have what looks like a relatively flat, relatively black, and relatively nice looking floor. Um, I would think a floor like this, come on, get in there. It doesn't want to quite fit, it's fighting me in. That's the drawback to this, it just, sometimes it doesn't want to go. And I gotta figure out why, what's going on here. See, look how much it's missing it by. See, and I try not to walk on these, because if I walk on them, I'm gonna kick them around. So. So, alright, you know, we'll leave that spot for now. The other trick that I was thinking of is you can have it, the last box lip underneath the wall. So, you, so if you have a problem like I'm having right now, getting it to line up and get in there, you can hide it under the lip. But let's see. Yeah, I'm having a problem getting the, the last one in there. And I'm not sure why yet. But you see what I'm doing. You're just stacking them all up. Getting them tucked in nice and tight. To try to eliminate the seams as much as you can. And the reason I'm taking a piece of glass to cover them is, you know, the obvious. You start walking over them, they're going to start glitching out and going flying around. So instead of walking on the actual boxes, you're walking on the glass. Come on, get into your position. One more, come on, move. One more unit, come on. Come on. back on, back on. Is that going to be right? No, of course not. I knew that. Obviously, this is another problem with all these uneven surfaces underneath. Getting to line up and get into position right. Definitely seems to be a bit of a trick. And again, I missed it by one. Come on, move. But what I want to do is I want to lay them into place. Come on, you can do it. There it is, E. Where'd it go? No, where'd it go? Oh, that is so horrible. All right, let's try another one. I had three more over there. Well, I'm probably going to end up with one glitch inside the other now, right? Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to fight me every inch of the way. This, of course, is obviously the hard part. Get 
getting the light into position without popping up and changing angles and come on oh no all right so that's obviously the problem with doing it this way let's put that back in the box Move. Obviously, this idea is not working out all that well. I had everything in here nice and neat, and it exploded. Well, I won't say exploded, but it definitely made a mess. Come on. You need to face down more. Get in there. All right, we're going to see what we can do about fixing up a little bit of this. See if we can get this going right. Okay, this one's not laying in right one of the things you need to do is you need to get all of these in facing the same way. So if the boxes are not quite perfectly square, you, you won't have an issue with one thing not lining up right and because it's off by a sixteenth of an inch or something, you know? Come on, you got to turn. Thank you, there you go. Go in there, you go in there. Let's put you in there. This guy's upside down. And we'll try and get a few of these stacked back in. Obviously, this is not what you'd want to do. Let's take you out of the picture for the moment. Oh, stop it. Go in like that. Oh, stop kicking everything else out. Okay, so maybe this isn't the best idea in the world. Well, you need to be very careful as to what you're doing and... Hope you don't have an explosion like I did. And then have to spend most of the video trying to fix it all up. Just to give you guys an idea of what it will work as. Obviously you saw the problems I ran into. Getting it to line up right. Getting the glass in properly. So, it's obviously not bulletproof, so to speak. But, come on, turn. Let's pick you up. Rotate you that way. And back down in here, come on. Come on. There we go. You packed in tight. Let's let's get this one out of here for the moment. All right, you're gonna fight me. You get out of there too. I don't want to deal. You gonna mess with me? I'm just gonna get you out of the picture. Your 15 cent minutes of fame for your for that particular lumpkin is over. Come on. Come on. That's the other thing with these. When you try to drag them across the floor, they tend to occasionally seem like they want to stick to the floor. 
See, now look at this. I got these packed in tight. And they're all facing the same way, but yet it looks like there's a, there's a little bit of a discrepancy. Look how nice and tight they are. But yet I got that much of a discrepancy when I get to the end. That makes no sense. You know what? Just in case if this one is causing a glitch, causing part of the glitch, I'll get it out of the picture. All right, I think I need two more rows in order for this to be a possibly even remotely feasible. Come on. Come on. I'm kind of slapping this together quickly. So there may be a few little gaps here and there. But I'm trying to do... Do my due diligence in getting it reasonably tight. It's not like I'm zip zipping through this as fast as lightning, but I am definitely not taking my time. Can I get in there? And that's that. And I'm gonna need one more row. I'm going to need to rotate this a little bit. That should be good. Like I said, this is for demo purposes. I really want to take this and, like I said, recess it about two units. So when you put the glass on it, it will be even with the rest of the floors. And make a small room with them, like a bathroom. Or maybe I can use it as like a black accent wall. If I do it vertically. But even if I do it vertically, I'm putting glass over so, you, so nobody can start glitching it out. But that's the ideas behind, behind this. Especially if you got a bunch of them like I do. Hopefully you went nuts... Buying these things for Chris for Christmas, duh, for Halloween. I got probably about a hundred of them. I don't know how many are here, but I have another. Well, oh, I'll say thirty or forty in another room in this base, and then I have a few on other bases too. So. Let's get this one in. Yes, we can rebuild it. We have the technology. Any of you old enough to know what that is, comment below. That means that means you're either up on your history, your television history, or you're old enough to know what that is in the first place. Okay, anyway, let's go back to this. Let's see if we can get this in here again. See, I gotta fix that little gap right there. But since I got this thing, okay, that looks good. E. Let's fix this little gap over here I just saw. Uh, there it is. Okay, that should take care of that. Now let's see what we can do by sliding this in. See, the problem is, is it doesn't want to go where I want it to go. Which is really frustrating. And then it wants to go vertical on me. 
which is also very frustrating. See, it missed the spot. There it is. So, once you get a few of these in place, if you walk on top of it, and if it's tucked tight enough like this, it looks like a solid black floor. Every once in a while you'll see a seam as you're walking, but generally speaking, it's a solid black floor, and you really, you'll know you're walking on glass, but you really won't be too sure of it, especially if you put this with a roof on it, and you get um, the new voxel lighting, and you have don't have the room lit up with like the sun up throw the moon in the sky so you can see the reflections let's see right there I just saw a gap let's see oh, there it is see it right there that one's got to be fixed a little bit but that was the idea and you do a small enough room you could probably do a small room like a bathroom like this which is what I want to do um, I'm going to experiment with other boxes um, and see if maybe I can come up with like a tile design. I'm thinking maybe black and white, um, the dynamite. If you stand the dynamite on end, I think it's close to the same height as this. I got to play around with it and figure it out. But that's, that's my idea on how to make a lumpkin floor or a bathroom floor. Um... Like I said, definitely cover it because I'll show you right now. You start walking around on it. Of course, it's not going to do it great because I'm right here. Yeah, of course, it's not going to do it. But the minute somebody else comes onto your base. up, oh, see, there we go. Now it's starting to move. People will start ruining it. So that's why I put the glass on it. The glass will keep keep people from making a mess out of your, out of your uh, little stack of... Uh, lumpkins and you know what it gives you a place to store them it makes it look nice it may you can use it for like i said like a bathroom floor or maybe if you got a lot of them and you have a lot of patience maybe you can make some sort of tile design for a kitchen like the tiling on a kitchen floor or you could use it against the wall and glass it up against the wall and make it um, like an accent wall, like a black wall in the, in the room type of thing. Um, so, but that's my ideas, guys. That's what I wanted to do with this, and this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I did this for, A, to demonstrate it to you guys, and B, um, generally to do a proof of concept to myself that it'll work, and it doesn't look bad. You know, I mean... You can see, like I said, every once in a while you see that seam or something. But if you take the time and pack them in really tight, you can get a nice looking floor out of it, I think. So that's the deal, guys. This this is going to be my screenshot right here. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to put the lumpkins over here. And I'm going to make this my screenshot. But anyway, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Set your alerts. And let me know what you think of the floor. Comment below. Tell me what you think of the floor. What do you think of the idea? You think it's going to work out okay? Ooh, it almost looks like put if I had a couple more next to each other, it would look like a big column. Okay, but anyway, I, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts. Tell me what you think of the idea. Um, yes, I have like five axes on me. They are all end times axes. I got these on Halloween day. And I just haven't had a chance to put them anywhere yet. If you're wondering. And like I said, 
like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts. Let me know what you think of the idea. Let me know if you've tried something like this. If you have other pumpkin boxes, you may be able to mix and match them and make like an orange and black pattern if you want to do like a Halloween setup. Or I think the other ones are purple and I forget the other colors. But you may be able to come up with some sort of combination like that. I want to try black and white, which is going to probably be these guys and boxes of dynamite. I know they're not the same size, but as long as they're the same height, I can work with it and come up with some sort of pattern. And eventually when I get that done, I'd love to show you guys that. But this is, this is what I wanted, wanted to show you guys. I thought a lumpkin floor would be interesting. And I thought you guys might be interested in checking it out. Did I print screen that? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, set your alerts. Yeah, I know I said it like fifty times. All right, guys, take care. Bye.